What's up ladies and gents, Tenga230 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome to Absolver. I've actually been playing this for a little while now, just getting into a bunch of fights, but I just wanted to show you guys the technically like the introduction mission as it were for this game so you guys can check it out. So this is the character creation, just checking out all the hairstyles. And after I chose my character and how they look, I go into the fighting styles you get into. So this is Forsaken. This is essentially a style where you parry. Right here is the cult and it absorbs hits. So as you can see you're turning blue and this is Windfall, essentially a style where you dodge. So I chose Cult. I am not sure if that was the best choice for me in the beginning, but I guess we'll see. And I chose my name as Tengu. So this is pretty much how the game starts off. Not sure exactly what happened, but you, you get the powers of the mask. And if you guys have been following this game, it's essentially you're trying to learn moves by fighting other people. So you're pretty much just gaining knowledge in martial arts so you can be like the best kind of like martial artist in the game by stringing combos and, and moves together. So the, since this is the introductory mission, this is where the game teaches you how to do things, obviously. So this is the tutorial, and by pressing RB as I try to actually see if I can enter this door, RB is to lock on. And currently I'm pressing X on the controller. I'm using the controller, this is the PC version. Uh, I was just testing out the punching, and I found out it was like a three hit combo. So, once you learn how to target, the game slowly unfolds and shows you some enemies who actually don't fight you here. So once you lock on, which I've done, you unleash like a three hit combo. And we're taking them out. As you can also see that white bar over there, that is your stamina bar. And just like Dark Souls, you're going to have to manage it. So this part really confused the shit out of me at first because they're talking about positioning and how your character's faced. So right now, character's faced, at least uh, initially, was the front right positional stance. So the game is teaching you how to go through all four stances. So front right, front left, back right, back left. So what this means is... You have different moves that you unleash depending on which position you're in. So for instance, I did front left, which is actually another button, but we'll just go with like the regular attacks for now. 
So if I go front right, that could be like a jab. If I do front left, that could be like an uppercut. If I go back left, that could be a spinning elbow. And those are like the regular attack buttons with X. When you press Y, which are called alternate attacks, that means you unleash moves, but once you're finished with them, you change positions. So in one of those four positions. And that's pretty much how the game flows in terms of combat, because each position that you land as you break this door, which is fucking awesome, can flow into another string of combos. And it was really confusing at first, because all I did right now was just take a bunch of hits. And instinctually, what I was thinking is like, okay, let's see if I can at least find an opening. But even though the AI has their back turned to you in, in this manner, even they're fighting um, head to head, they can still block. They're just trying to confuse you with like different kinds of moves and different kinds of strings of combos. So the game is, it, it definitely is a challenge, especially if it takes you like a little bit to learn how to adapt to how enemies fight. So this is this is weird. The introductory mission. I, I've I've explored as much as I could so far, and I haven't seen any doors that I could bash open like this. So I thought I'd be able to like bash in like a bunch of doors to like get in uh, to find secret places or something like that, but. In the greater world of Adal, which this game takes place, I haven't seen any other doors that I could like bash in. I mean, you can punch the jars, and they'll break for like you know, for effect, which is pretty cool. But I mean, bashing in doors—they give you like this powerful feeling, right? Especially when you're doing like a alternate power move, and obviously you can't climb ladders. So I keep exploring this place, and it's definitely reminiscent of how Dark Souls feels. You're kind of like plopped into this world, and there's kind of like this rush of what happened to this world, why is it like this? And I like that mystery of it all. So Absolver is going to throw... It's not... When it's with AI, sometimes it's one-on-one, -on -one, and a lot of the times you're fighting at least two people. And this is where you have to take positioning into account. You gotta gauge your stamina bar. You have to kind of like know when to attack. And you just have to find the right positions. And timing. To know when to actually strike. And it's tough. So as you can see, they have those circles right there. See on the right of my character, of which there's a move there, and there's a circle that gets filled up. So essentially, that's a move you do not know. And when an enemy uses it against you, the more it's used against you, as the bar, and once the bar fills up, you learn that move. So this is a door we have to head through, but right now, we're not heading there yet. We're just kind of like checking it out to see what we need to do and the game says we have to fight a boss.
And as you can see right there, I just leveled up. Now, you probably can make comparisons to this with For Honor. I mean, you, you're fighting AI as well as other people. Um, I, I personally haven't played For Honor. Um, I've heard the combat was actually pretty cool when, like, when it works, especially if you're just if, when you're playing online against other people. And I don't know how it is compared to this, but even though in Absolver you're just going through fighting, I think the game does a pretty good job at giving you a lot of the mechanics to make the fighting actually feel pretty fun if not frustrating sometimes because you're still kind of like learning the moves so this is uh... Ceylon. this is the boss that we have to fight to open the door and he's got some crazy moves man <laughs> so also if you notice when i said that the moves that you know that are used against you you learn so since i'm using cult and you see me using the absorb method if he uses that flying, uh, was that technically like a like a, a flying roundhouse kick, I guess essentially. And if I use absorb with it, I learn that move faster. But the thing is, if I die here, I'll kind of like lose all my progress. So you have to win to earn your moves. So yeah, we, since we've beat the boss right here, the door opens and we're headed into the next part. This is close to the end of the video. Uh, I was walking slow here. Um, you can actually see those shards on the bottom left. We'll probably cover it in another video where I'm actually just co-oping with other people. But those are essentially moves that you learn that are like powers. As you can see on the bottom left, as you guys can read the dialogue, I have one power that's mapped to the left d-pad and that's to heal. And what healing essentially does is you, obviously we already know kind of like healing, healing does in games, but in Absolver once you activate it you actually gain more health as you unleash moves on an enemy without them attacking you. So there's a little bit of strategy to it when, when it's used. So you can, from here you can change your equipment and after this you can actually meditate from here, this is your combat deck. These attributes here are RPG quality like. And you can up your strength, dexterity, vitality, endurance and everything. I've been upping endurance because that ups my stamina gauge. So yeah, that, that's a little taste of Absolver. It's pretty cool. I mean, there's co-op, like I said, in it as well, but... I'm going to end the episode here for Absolver. The next episode I'm going to post is just me co-oping uh, co with, with random people. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just, just check out the rest of this fight. And if you all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care. And Tinker 230 out. Roy Charles. Game on, everybody. And keep smiling.